Hey guys, I am back. This is kind of weird. It feels a little weird to film because I haven't filmed a video in what seems like forever. I know I've been gone for a little while. But anyway, as you can see, I am back home from Paris, finally. And I wanted to show you guys some things that I picked up while I was over there. Um, I really didn't get that much stuff because I only packed one suitcase when I went. No matter where I go, no matter how long I'm staying, I only do carry on just because I don't trust my luggage being checked. So yeah, I knew whatever I got, it was gonna have to fit in my luggage when I was heading back home. So I knew I wasn't gonna be able to get that much stuff. But yeah, I wanted to show you the stuff that I did get. So yeah, let's just go ahead and jump right into it. Ooh. Okay, so the first thing I got was this jacket right here. It's like a military inspired type of a deal. I got this from Mango and I just really love this jacket so much. I love the structure of it. I love the little things, <laughs> the tabs on the shoulders. The buttons are really nice and this squiggly, I don't know what kind of like detail this is called, but this little squiggly <laughs> panel right here is just so so nice yeah i just love this jacket so much it makes me feel like sergeant pepper when i wear it if you guys know what sergeant pepper is like the beatles okay it makes me feel like that when i wear it i just like it and then i also got this jacket from mango it's this really nice blush colored moto jacket and this is the back if you know me, then you know I am utterly obsessed with moto jackets. I just think they are the bee's knees. They're the best thing ever to layer, to just throw on when you want to go pretty much anywhere. And this particular one, I was just so drawn to the color, so drawn to the cut and the way it's structured. I really love just like the overall details on it. It looks like a really well-made jacket and it was only $49.99, which in my opinion, it looks way more expensive. So I was like, hell yeah, I have to get that jacket. Even though it was super hot on the day that I bought it, I didn't care. I knew I was gonna want it. So yeah, this is like my favorite moto jacket I have in my wardrobe right now. Love it so much and yeah, I got it from Mango. From Bershka, I got these black sandals. They are tie-up sandals and what I really love about these is it has a braided front right here and then the ties are um, ropes. And um, I got these on sale. While I was there, it was the really big sale season. So a lot of stuff was marked down super, super low. And I got these, I believe, for like 19 euros, which was marked down like 50%. So that was good. Tie them up your leg. I really like <laughs> lace up slash tie up shoes. So these were right up my alley and I had to get them. And then I also got these black open toe booties. I got these from a store called New Look and I had been looking for some really nice open toe booties for so long. And I like these because they have like a tie closure so you can wrap this around like that and then it has like a little tassel right here i just think it adds just a little extra to the shoe it doesn't look super plain or super boring uh, but it also isn't you know really out there and look crazy so you can wear these with a bunch of stuff i just really like these shoes they are to me <laughs> the perfect height i think it's a four inch heel if i'm not mistaken yeah they're like the perfect height they fit comfortably and I think they just look really nice on. So you can have the tassel in the front or you can have the tassel in the back, whichever way you want to wear them. All right, so I got a few clutches and bags. The first one is this one right here. This beaded, you know, really intricate clutch. So, oh, it actually has like these little pom-poms on it. I'm not really a huge fan of pom-poms, so I just tuck them in. And it has a um, 
shoulder strap that you can put on as well wear it as a shoulder bag but i got this from like a super random store when i was just walking down the street i saw this store and i decided to stop in and i saw this clutch and fell in love and i had to get it yeah i forgot how much this was i want to say it was like maybe 30 euros or something like that i don't know but it's really well made really nicely done and I just really love clutches like this clutches that you know you can add to a basic outfit and it really just adds some more um spice to your look so i really like that a lot and then as you can see i'm super into like <laughs> bedazzled type of stuff i got this clutch as well i got this from a store called nina kaufman it was actually like in the neighborhood of where i was staying and yeah, I would pass by there every day. So one day I decided to stop in and I got this clutch. So yeah, really cute. Yeah, just something you can grab and go. Wear this with a casual outfit or you can wear it with a dressy one. I think this would be good for day or night time. And then last but not least for the bags, I had to treat myself. I stopped in Chanel and bought a little bag. I actually got Wallet on a Chain. So I got the black one, here's the back, and caviar with um, silver hardware. I'll show you guys the inside. Got some receipts in here. I've been wearing this a lot. So that's the inside. A lot of compartments, a lot of places to put your cards and everything like that. So I've actually been wanting one of these for the longest time. And I, when I was home, I had checked like my local Chanel's and stuff like that everywhere was sold out like these are a little hard to find in the states just because I guess they are that popular and they're always sold out or on the waiting list and stuff like that so when I knew that I was going to go over to Paris I decided I'll just get it over there because let me just tell you guys that these buying designer bags just in general if you are not a citizen of the european union if you go over there and buy a designer bag it usually comes out significantly less expensive than if you were to buy them at home so knowing that i was already going over there and knowing that i had been wanting this bag i knew i was going to <laughs> try to find one and try to get one so i did and yeah i saved quite a bit of money by buying this over there so just a word of advice if you are planning to go to europe and you live in the states and you're also planning to um buy designer bags or you have a designer bag on your wish list um you might want to wait until you go over there because you will save money so this has been just a really good everyday bag i can throw my phone my keys my cards my i don't know my cash my lip gloss in here and just be good to go you can also tuck the straps inside and wear it as a clutch so that was pretty much all the clothing and accessories i got while i was there um and then i got just a few makeup items from kiko which i really love kiko they're super inexpensive and they have some nice makeup so first and foremost i had to pick up some of this base volume pre mascara I tried this a couple years back and it has been on my favorites list since then. I love this so much. If I don't wear false lashes, I like to use this before I put on my mascara because it really plumps up my natural lashes so, so much. And I like it so much that I bought two of them actually. Here's one that I've been using and then I got a second one just so... I wouldn't run out and then I also got their mascara top coat right here this is just the regular mascara that you put on over top of it got that I got a few lip liners so the first one is this one this is in number 710 this is like a really deep plum color I actually wore this on my Instagram, I took a picture and I was wearing this color. Actually, I was wearing this color and I was also wearing number 711 on top of it. And let me do a swatch of that. Like a medium 
purple color. A couple of you had asked what color um, lip I was wearing and that's what I was wearing. And then I also got this color. This is number 301 and this is like a mauve color. I love it so much. It's super, super pretty. And then lastly, I got this purple one, this really light purple, as you can see, <laughs> I'm into purple lips, really nice violet color. So yeah, they go on really nice and soft and creamy, very, very easy to apply. So I love the lip liners by Kiko. And also they are good to use just as an overall color. Like I use these as lipsticks all the time. So yeah. They were great. So yeah, guys, that was what I got while I was over in Paris. Yeah, I hope you liked this haul. <laughs> I will be making more videos more frequently now that I am back and settled, I promise. So yeah, if you guys have any requests, just leave them below. And I guess I will see you guys over on my next video. Bye.